So review week continues and today I'm gonna talk about the great game and some body snatchers. So today, before I jump in with the review of the film, I'm really excited because I got a little bit of a shout out from Colleen Patrick Goudreau, and I don't know if folks know them as a YouTube content creator. So I got a really sweet message from Colleen saying that, you know, they really loved the channel and that was really cool because I didn't even think I was on that person's radar and to know that, you know, there's a little mutual admiration going on there is always kind of cool. But it is someone who has given me a lot of amazing food for thought and really some ways to think about how to talk about veganism to non-vegans and some things that happen within the vegan community that really needs some discussion. And so if you've not heard of Colleen Patrick Goudreau, I'm gonna include a link in the description box below. Please do go check them out. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the documentary Afghanistan, The Great Game. Now, The Great Game, it's an historical term that describes the conflict that existed between Great Britain and Russia in the mid 19th century. It's likely similar to what people in the US think of as the Cold War. Politician and filmmaker Rory Stewart leads us on a journey from the mid 19th century first Anglo-Afghan war through the invasion of Russia into Afghanistan in the 70s, right up to the present with current military aggression from the US in Afghanistan. Rory is a great storyteller and makes the film pretty engaging. He's clearly sympathetic towards the Afghans and really paints them as these targets of Western aggression. He even reminds us of a period in the 60s when Westerners, especially people from the US, would go to Afghanistan as a peaceful retreat, kind of like the way people go to Thailand today. There were a few things that struck me particularly about this film, especially in light of discussions that have been going on on this channel and other YouTube channels connecting terrorism to the Muslim world. I think it's a a pretty important film for people in the West to watch and begin to understand the history of aggression in Afghanistan, especially now when folks in the US are talking about setting up a viceroy and basically colonizing Afghanistan to exploit their mineral deposits. One thing that's interesting is how Western military aggression is often seen in the world as a simple necessity for the sake of progress. We see that Western countries often march into non-Western societies and just set up shop. It's certainly what happened in this place that we now call the Americas and led to the formation of the United States and Canada and the countries that are now in the southern part of the Americas. Europeans and Americans are somehow supposed to be spreading their culture, spreading democracy throughout the world. So the type of military aggression that we see from these countries is not even considered violence, really. It's considered for the greater good, in spite of the fact that it results in in pretty high death tolls all around. However, acts from non-Europeans and non-Westerners is very quickly and without very much analysis at all, labeled as terrorism. <laughs> now the film obviously talks about the Russian invasion of Afghanistan, which is something that I remember from my childhood hearing about in news reports. In fact, one of the ways the US was able to build support in the US for the removal of the Russians was they were going to take away the religion from those Muslims. They were going to do away with the Islamic State. In other words, if we hadn't gotten involved, we might have seen an end to the Islamic State in Afghanistan. Afghanistan, which would have meant no rise of the Taliban, which would have meant no support for Al Qaeda. So why was I talking about the body snatchers? Something that struck me was the communists were seen as these very cold, calculating forces. And we even had films like The Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which was gonna represent the way that when the communist came, we were gonna be these emotionalist, rational beings, right? Without emotions. And now it seems that emotions have become this 
very negative thing and people only want this cold logic and rationalism. So what, have we been like replaced by pod people? <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna get sidetracked and I don't want this video to go on too long. I just really do highly recommend that you watch Afghanistan, The Great Game. I found the film on Netflix, but it's also available on YouTube and I will include a link in the description box below. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.